Key West was one of our favorite trips last year, and yes, I did say last year. I'm finally getting all caught up on our videos, and today we're headed to the southernmost point, Key West, Florida. So come along with us to the Conk Republic as we wander Duval Street, check out a market, a butterfly conservatory, and more. This is our plane right there. Guess where we're going? Cute West. Cute West. I won't talk for too long because I know that it's kind of annoying with when you can't see my lips moving or I, I don't know. Anyway, um, we're going to Key West for the weekend. Allegiant has flights from St. Pete Airport to Key West for like $33 one way. So we are doing that today. We'll be there from today, which is Saturday until Wednesday. So yeah. There Any are thoughts? 40 people on oh, yeah. out of here. There is nobody. It's from uh, what same Clearwater Pi yeah, Pi to Key West. There's 40 people. It's a direct flight. It's like an hour <laughs> flight. Um, it's I should we should mention it's Gasparilla weekend here in St. Pete. Yeah. So it's probably why. Uh, yeah. Like no one sense. wants to leave Gasparilla weekend, but yeah, we're we'll the to, only ones that walk through security. Literally, the like only people. crazy. Um, there's. Pretty sweet though. Yeah. Yes, it's a good start to the trip. This I've never seen that airport. This is a really small airport, but it is usually really busy because everyone gets here for their flights, you know, at the same time. Yeah. Because like yeah. what few flights they have, like you know, everyone's here for. Let me show you how just empty it is oh, in yeah. here. <laughs> I'll yeah, show you. you. Guys, yeah, it's pretty wild. So yeah, we will be getting on the plane with 38 other people, and we purchased the exit row, so it'll be comfy. Honestly, I just wanted to be able to see the water and <laughs> watch that. Yeah, comfy and um, comfy on the legion. Kind of like a yeah, the catch twenty two or whatever. But yeah, no, um, it should be good. I'm yeah. excited. Uh, and then I think the only other thing is like it's supposed to be really cold this weekend, and everyone keeps saying, "Oh, you're going to Key West; it'll be warm." It's still going to be the coldest it's been in a decade. I saw yesterday. So I think like the hottest day, it's gonna be 71. Um, and that's if we're lucky. So chilly weekend, but we don't care. It's gonna be so much fun. So next time you see us, we'll be in Key West. Yeah. Folks uh, from the uh, fun Our hotel was not ready for check-in, so we grabbed lunch at Fogarty's on Duval. That's always our first stop in Key West, and we got a seat right next to the road, which is great for people watching. I'll let you do the people watching in super speed here. Um, after lunch, we grabbed a drink, and by that time, our hotel was ready for check-in. We used our hotel points to stay at the Hyatt Centric, which has a perfect location. It's just about a block off of Duval, so it's a little bit quieter than staying on Duval directly, but it's so close that you might as well be on Duval. So you get a little bit more peace and quiet, but feel like you're right there. So it's really the best of both worlds. We really enjoyed our stay there and I wish I would have filmed a little bit more so I could give it its own video, but I didn't unfortunately. Um, so this is a quick overview of our room. It was pretty nice and we had a little bit of a view as well. So we really had a good experience here and would definitely stay there again. On our first full day in Key West, we started the morning with coffee from the coffee house. We came in because I found them on Instagram and loved their aesthetic. They're actually located in one of the oldest historic brick buildings in Key West, which is really cool and I just love how their inside is decorated it's just I love it so it was a really great way to start the morning and I'm glad that we came here the coffee house actually opened up in 2020 so it's somewhat newer they also serve healthy food including a vegan free menu I know that healthy places can be really hard to come by on vacation sometimes so if you're looking for a healthy spot in Key West this is a great option 
We took our coffee to go and wandered around Truman Annex. If you've ever seen any of my other videos on Key West, then you know that one of my favorite things to do is to just grab coffee and wander the streets of Key West. No two streets are the same and they are all filled with so much charm. I could wander these streets forever. I will also link some of my old Key West YouTube videos in the description if you're interested. I also interned in Key West my first summer of college. I can't remember if I've mentioned that before, but that's one of the reasons I love Key West so much. And when they picked us up from the airport, they drove us around the island kind of pointing out places they thought all of us 18 year olds might enjoy spending our summer, some of the places we might enjoy visiting. And I don't remember a whole lot from that tour, but something that's always stuck with me was that they pointed out Truman Annex and they told us that is where the richest of the rich live. And I don't know why that's always stuck with me, but it has. And so I think I've kind of held it on a pedestal ever since, and it's kind of hard not to. Every house in Truman Annex is quintessential Key West, and yet every house is unique. I love them all so much and those white fences are so charming. A lot of the houses are vacation rentals so if you love it as much as me, you could rent one on your next trip. I also love that there's a lot of history to Truman Annex. It was originally an army installation and then it was a naval station from the Spanish-American War and then again in World War I and II. So it's just a cool place for a lot of reasons. We walked until we reached Truman Waterfront Park, which is another cool place to walk around. We're at Truman Park this morning. It's a waterfront park, and we are here because there's a craft show here this weekend, which I will show you. But I wanted to mention that this is a great place to come if you have kids. There's a splash park, tons of playgrounds. It's amazing, and then it's obviously, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but it's right on the water. And there is a Coast Guard ship here too that it's a museum. You can tour it and look at the ship. It's really, it's huge. It's really cool. So anyways, wanted to mention this. Again, we're here for the craft show, which I will show you, um, but a great place to come with the kids. If you are not walking, you will pay to park. So know that before you come, but it's not too far of a walk from all the Key West has to offer. It's definitely walkable. We really enjoyed our walk here, so. All right, let's go check out the craft show. I think it's so cool how you can see the Coast Guard ship behind all of the vendors. There probably are not very many craft shows in the world that have a huge ship right in the background, but this ship is called the Ingham and it is a decommissioned Coast Guard ship that's now a museum. The ship was used during the Vietnam War and also during the Cuban crisis and the museum is the ship itself so you can go in there and see all of the different wings of the ship, where they used to eat, the captain's quarters, things like that. If you'd like to check it out, it's a self-guided tour and it's $15 for adults. We squeezed a lot into our morning because we really like walking around before it gets too busy. In the morning, it can often feel like you have all of Key West to yourself. But after our morning walk, we decided it was time for breakfast. We went to La Green Yacht and no matter how many times I try to pronounce it, it's probably always going to be wrong. So please forgive me, I did my best. But it's a French bakery and bistro on Duval. There was a wait when we got there, but they do let you order drinks while you wait. So we didn't mind too much and the food was pretty good. After breakfast, we walked to the other end of Duval and we went to the Key West Butterfly and Nature Conservatory. The first time I went here was actually when I was interning in Key West and I'll admit that I wasn't all that excited about it. I kind of just went because everyone else was going and that was better than sitting home by myself. But then I was completely captivated once we did get inside. I absolutely love this place. It's like stepping into a whole new world. So there are butterflies just flying around all over the place and they're not just the kind of butterfly that you see all the time in the summers here in the US. There are over 50 species of butterfly flying in this place and they are from all over the world. 
They also have two flamingos and some tropical birds as well. Plus the foliage is gorgeous. It's just well, well worth a visit, even if you're like me and don't think it sounds all that cool. I really think you'll like it. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. The rest of the day was spent wandering Duval, going in and out of bars, people watching at Mallory Square, and then we ended the night with live music at Smokin' Tuna. We honestly packed so much into this trip that I couldn't fit it all into one video. Our next video will be part two of this trip to Key West. I hope that you enjoyed this video and decide to subscribe so that you can stick around for the next one. We will see you next time. I found my way. TSA regulations require that baggage must be supervised. TSA regulations. Mandatory. Any unattended baggage will be subject to confiscation. Uh, I'll wait till it's done. Any unattended baggage should be reported immediately. <laughs> uh, you know what? I didn't think about, which I don't know if we have to do this on film or not, but I'm going to let it happen. Okay. And I say on film because you're recording this on an old timey <laughs> train camera. Um, the exit row is usually next to the uh, wing, isn't it? Yeah. So you can climb out. So the views like, aren't, aren't going to be sick. <laughs> you know what I mean? views are going to be a Oh, you're right. I didn't really think about that. I just thought of that right now. Well, Crisis. there are only 40 people on the flight, so maybe we can get up and... They say you can't. So you do the better you, <laughs> <laughs> They said you can't. So, uh, so. But have you seen that new um, TikTok trend where it's like, I hate when I slip and fall but then like you slip and fall into your favorite like like oh i slipped and i fell into cooking cookies or right. like oh i slipped and fell like, watching yeah. netflix on the couch so right. maybe i'll slip and fall into like the what are they gonna and then you know yeah i think it's a good plan but i found my way i found my way i was in the dark against it all but made it through the day because i found my way i found my way in bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way